Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a blind taste test of snakehead versus striped bass. So stay tuned. So on this channel, I do a lot of how-tos, reviews, and share my experiences fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, and just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors. So if those interest you, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and click that notification bell so you know when I upload new content. All right guys, so today we're gonna be doing a blind test of snakehead versus striped bass. I've actually caught these uh, myself, um, so I know they're pretty fresh. I've actually vacuum packed them and uh, put them in the freezer, but they're thawed out now. So I'm going to actually do a simple recipe. I'll show you guys. We're gonna just uh, make nuggets out of both of them and then uh, use some uh, Uncle Buck's seasoning, which I'll show you in more detail uh, shortly. And then we're gonna do a taste test. Uh, I've got some special guests today. My niece Chloe really wants to be on video and uh, do the taste test with me. And then I'm gonna try to get my son Tyler, he's the birthday boy today, um, to do the taste test as well and see whoever else wants to do it. And we're gonna see which one tastes better, steak head or striped bass. What do you think? All right guys, so I have a rockfish or striped bass filet and snakehead filet on this plate right now. Can you guys tell which one's which? Um, I'll tell you guys in a second. I'll let you guys know what I'm, how I'm gonna prepare this first. Um, what I'm gonna actually do is cut this up in uh, little nuggets um, so I can cook them faster uh, and more evenly than if I were to cook like a whole filet. And then I'm gonna use uh, Uncle Buck's fish batter mix here. Uh, my kids really like this a lot. Um, actually, when I gave it to them the first time, they actually thought it was actually chicken because of the, uh, just the texture of both snakehead and striped bass are, um, it's very firm. Uh, there's actually two different types of Uncle Bucks, or there's a couple types of Uncle Bucks batter. Um, the original one I like a lot because it's got a little bit of slight kick to it. It's not a lot, but my kids can notice it. So uh, they still like it, but it's just they complain about the being a little spicy. So the one that I use for them is this Uncle Bucks uh, fish batter but it's the mild version of it. So actually, the one that is the striped bass is the one here on the bottom, and then the snakehead filet is the one that's here on the top. As you can tell, you can see that it's uh, very white meat. Uh, you know, you can get nice thick chunks of it. Uh, the snakehead filet does tend to have a little bit more red on the back, um, I've noticed. Um, that's just part of, I guess, some of the bloodline that's right here, which you can also see there's a bloodline here in the uh, striped bass as well. But I'm gonna make a couple nuggets, so I'm gonna try to make, I don't know, like two inch nuggets, roughly. So like this one, I'll take this and then I'll cut that. It's like one to two inch, and you know, just kind of guessing. Uh, so I'll do that for this year. And this one, I'll just split this in half. I've got a whole lot more. This is not the only one. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I got. All right, guys, so I'm gonna do this actually according to the way it says on the Uncle Buck's uh, instructions on the back. It says actually dunk them in milk. So we got milk right here. Put a couple fillets or nuggets in there. And then over here, I've got a bag full of the batter. So we're just gonna take the fish that is in the milk, throw it in the bag, and do a little shake and bake type action. And we're just gonna shake it up. Get a nice coating on it. Then we're gonna pop them out. Let's take a look at them. Let's move this out of the way so you can see them. So there you go. You can see it's nicely coated. It's a lot easier doing this little shake. 
Oops, you check that one. Nicely coated. All right, so I'm gonna finish the rest of these and then we will throw them in the hot oil. All right, so I've got the hot oil here. And one of the ways that you can tell if the oil is ready is just take some of the batter and throw it in there. And then you'll see that it kind of starts to um, fizzle up. So we're gonna put the uh, nuggets in, try to space them out so you don't kind of overcrowd the pan. And then uh, we're gonna let it cook for a couple minutes. I kind of had to guess how long to cook each side. Um, I think I started off with like two to four minutes per side flipped and then um, went from there. So after about two to four minutes per side, I started flipping them and gave it another two to four minutes. I just kind of would check them to see if they turn golden brown and then they were uh, pretty much done. I actually cracked one open to just check to make sure if it was fully cooked. All right, guys, so here is the finished product of the nuggets. Um, can you tell now which one's which? I know which one's which. Uh, I'll give you guys again a couple seconds to uh, decide which one you think is striped bass or rockfish. So the one on the top is actually that was a big deal. Snakehead, and then this one is the Striped Bass. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get ready for the taste test again. All right guys, so I got my taste testers here. I've got my niece, Abby, Chloe, and then my son, Tyler. It's his birthday, so he's the birthday boy. But we're gonna see which one they like the best. So I've got Snakehead on one side, and. Uh, rockfish or striped bass on the other side. So kids are brutally honest, so we will see uh, which one actually does taste the best. So we're gonna do this one by one just so we can get the reactions. So uh, let's uh, get to it. So we'll let the birthday boy go first. So try that one <laughs> on the right. So that means you yeah, can you use your hands. We're Filipino, so you can use your hands if you want to. Oh Stop so just take a bite and then How's it taste? It's good. It's good. <laughs> All right, so there's the second one. Don't say which one you like the best for yet until we go through everybody. Okay. All right, was that one good too? Okay, so let's go ahead, let's go to Chloe. Okay. And let's see which one we... she likes. You can try either one. Just remember oh which gosh, one you I'm like scared. better. She's chicken. I know it's not. <laughs> it's the chicken of the sea. It's not. It's chicken of no uh, Maryland. No or a chicken of the it's Chesapeake Bay. No so you like that one? Okay, no so try the other one. No. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Or the Dr. Meat. Yeah, they have no problem. I actually like both. You like both? Okay. Well, decide while we have your sister try it. Does it taste like a dino nugget? Mm -hmm. It does. Hey, it does. <laughs> <laughs> no, try the other one. Alright, let's try the other one. It's a big bite. It tastes like a dino nugget, too. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Tyler, you finished one. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so like which one do you like better? This one. You like that one better? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I ate the other one so that you would think that I like that one, but instead I like this one. Okay. Right. So, Chloe, which one do you like? Yes, it does. You don't need to. You like that one? Yeah. Okay. Hey, how about you, Abby? I like both of them because it tastes like dino nuggets. You like both. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to, if you had to choose one, which one would you think you would like? Dino nugget. <laughs> All right. So Tyler actually prefers the snakehead. Yeah. Chloe prefers the rockfish or striped bass, and Abby preferred snakehead. Uh -huh. 
Ah. So out of three of them, that's two for Snakehead and one for Rockfish or Striped Bass. So um, I do have another person testing that's going to come over. Oh, and, yep, uh, yep, yep. Right there. Yeah, no, right there. Not her. Oh, Bella's too shy. But, camera shy. Uh, you'll see who that is oh, in uh, just a second. All right, guys. Yeah, so now we have uh, my buddy Eric and neighbor. He's conveniently literally right beside me. Uh, if you actually seen him in a couple of my videos, uh, usually he's got a hat and a mask on, so you probably don't recognize him. But uh, so we're gonna have Eric taste uh, steakhead and striper and see which one he prefers. Okay, let's see. So these are prepared the same? Exactly the same. It's uh, Uncle Buck's um, seasoning. All right. They're both really good. Do you have a preference for one or the other? I'm gonna take one more bite to confirm. <laughs> They're both really good. I think the seasoning and everything complements this one a little bit better. So there's a little more flavor in this one. So I'm, I'm guessing this is a snakehead just because of the firmness. <laughs> <laughs> right, but uh, but you know, I think they're both really good. I gotta give the edge to the to the one that I had on the right here, though. Oh wow! Okay. So you tell me which one was which. So you actually got it right. So, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. So actually, the snakehead was the one uh, on our right, and striper was on the left. But Eric actually preferred the striper. So. Yep. At, at least, least with this preparation. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so we have a bit of a problem. We have a tie, but I'm actually going to be the tie break. With the way it was prepared using the Uncle Buck's batter, I think I personally prefer Steakhead, but I think we should do this test again, maybe using a simpler recipe, just maybe salt, pepper, and then throw it on the grill or bake it. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think. How should we cook it next and do a taste test? So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Whoa, whoa. Get you out of there.